mortal. Would you look at that? You're awake. <laughs> no surprise there. God, you look terrible. What's going on? Huh? Nah, I'm nobody. Of course it's me, mortal. Do you regularly get guys poofing into your room with a bag of sand? You want me to prove it? Uh, I guess I could, but why? Are you okay? Whoa, whoa, okay. Fine. See, I'm staying right here. Not moving an inch. Gods, what's with you tonight? You look like you think I'm gonna eat you or something. Epiales. Wait, how the fuck do you... Oh, shit, shit. God, tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me he didn't actually show himself to you. He paralyzed you while you were awake? Fuck! Wait, did he feed on you? The fucking psycho... I swear, I'm gonna beat his ass to Cerberus. Oh, shit. Sorry, I... I shouldn't have yelled. I'm not mad at you, I promise. You didn't do anything wrong. Gods, no wonder you are so scared when I came in. Hmm, okay. Uh, hang on. How to prove to you that I'm not... Hey, remember last time I showed you my sand? And then you decided to get all Sappho on me, saying that it looked like I'd scooped up a million tiny stars? No one would know that except us, right? Okay, good. Can I, uh... Can I sit next to you? Thanks. Here. Breathe with me. In and out. In and out. <sighs> well, shit. Here I thought I was going to tell you that I thought I knew what was causing your nightmares, but... Of course, that asshole beat me to it. Is that what he told you? Of course he did. No, he's not a god, as much as he likes to pretend he is. He's a daemon, a dream spirit. He and his kind, the Oniri, induce nightmares in mortals, and then they feed on the fear and distress they create. I bet he also told you we're brothers, didn't he? Well, spoiler alert, that's also a lie. He wasn't born to my father. Father created him and his kin as servants, supposedly to help him in his work. I think it was supposed to be a way to help the mortals. You know, a mortal has trauma, a daemon turns their trauma into a nightmare, the daemon consumes the nightmare, then... With the bad stuff gone, the mortal's mind is able to heal. <laughs> I know, right? What could possibly go wrong? After all, sentient beings will always stay loyal to their creators. No chance at all they'll go rogue and start using their powers for evil. Yeah. When you first told me about your nightmares, I thought it sounded like an Oniri at work. But I had no idea it was Epiales himself. Of course he'd be the one behind it all. From what I heard, he's one of the first Oniri. The first one Father created. I guess that makes him feel like he's on equal footing with me and my real brothers, but that's all complete bullshit. He said your fields of sleep were... unusually fertile... Ugh. Okay, gross metaphors aside, I guess that explains why he chose you. 
Usually daemons will feed on a person for a little while and then get bored and move on. But if your nightmares are especially tasty, that's probably why he decided to savor you. Yeah, agreed. Ugh. I don't fucking know. I can give you more sand for dreamless sleep, but that's only a temporary fix. It might even make things worse. The harder we try to free you from his grasp, the tighter he's going to hold on. No, no, don't panic. Come on, Starlight. We need to be calm if we're going to figure this out. Well, yeah, Starlight. I thought it was fitting. After what you said about the sand before. Besides, you're always awake to see the light of the stars anyways. Makes sense to me. You'll allow it for now. Ooh, how generous. What should you call me? Uh, Morpheus. My name. Morph? Seriously? Did you use up all your creativity that first night? No. In fact, not to be dramatic, but I'd rather literally die. No, you will not. Hey, stop laughing. I'm serious. Ugh. Aha, there. See? My plan worked. You're smiling again. I win. Oh, come on. Don't be a sore loser. But in all seriousness, I'm not sure what we're going to do about Epiolis. We need time. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, fuck it. I can't believe I'm about to suggest this, but what if you came with me to Erebus? Yeah, Daemons are used to hunting in the mortal realm, so it'll be harder for him to track you down. Maybe, if we're really lucky, it'll be like an out-of-sight, out-of-mind kind of thing. If you're not around, maybe he'll decide you're not worth the trouble and just move on to someone else. Won't father be mad? Of course not. He's going to give me a great big hug and say, I'm just glad you're all right, son. No, actually, he's probably going to kill me. But I've endured his wrath before. It's not fun, but it's not like it's anything new. As for you, well, you're only refusing to sleep because of Epiolis' bullshit. Hopefully father will see that you're a victim in all this. If we can convince him to let you stay for a bit, it'd buy us some time to come up with a better plan. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. You seriously think I'm going to leave you at the mercy of that bastard? Can you what? Hug me? Sure, I guess. Okay, right. Hugging. I swear, you mortals and your weird-ass customs. Whew, uh, that, uh, that actually wasn't as terrible as I thought. Don't thank me yet. Wait till you actually meet Father. You might decide you want to cuss me out instead. Okay, Starlight. You ready? Stand up and grab my arm. Yeah, just like that. Ow, ow, shit. Okay, maybe not that tightly. You're gonna tear my cloak at this rate. Changing my style? What do you mean? Trade in my cloak? You do realize Aunt Athena wove this for me, right? Oh, well, pardon me. I didn't realize there was a deadline to get with the times. Still, not a bad idea. Make it into a blazer. Hmm. At the very least, it wouldn't be constantly tripping over it. Uh, anyway, come on. Stop wasting time. Now hold still. And whatever you do, don't let go. Alright. Hang on, Starlight. <laughs>